All right, here we have set up for experiment two, uh, DC circuits, and experiment three, capacitors. For experiment two, there's no connect, there's no setup aside from uh, having a computer with an internet connection, and uh, that can run Java applets. This applet is uh, from PHET Interactive Simulations from the University of Colorado at Boulder, and uh, for experiment number two. Uh, there'll be a, a series of uh, DC circuits set up with uh, resistors in parallel and series and combinations of them. Various points will be measured with a multimeter, an, in, an inline ammeter, and a non-contact ammeter. Uh, right here shows the first setup. Uh, for the first part of uh, uh, experiment three on capacitors, this applet will also be used. Um, for lab three on capacitors, we need uh, more equipment and um, programs. First off, in the main physics lab programs file, there's this uh, program called Capacitor Decay 2011. It will plot the chart, the voltage, uh, across two different points. And we're going to plot the voltage across the resistor and the voltage across the capacitor of interest. Okay, let's take a quick look at the circuit we're going to build. We'll need a multimeter uh, to check the values. We'll need some banana cables. We'll need uh, a circuit board that has various uh, components. Uh, just to point out, down here is where our voltage comes from. Now in the back, there is a little plug that runs over into a 9-volt regulated power supply. Up here we got a push button switch uh, to turn on the or turn off the current. Uh, we have a, a resistor of interest and we have two different capacitors with value that we're going to be measuring. Uh, additionally we have a couple uh, DNC to um, DNC to banana cables and uh, if you can see right here there is a BNC to digital connector. Pull that apart. So a digital audio jack connector. Plug that in. Normally these cables are plugged into that box and they actually run through the table and plug into this other box. Red being number one and white being number three. Now number one and number three will be read by our computer program and plot our data. Okay, so, let's do a quick setup of our um, RC circuit in series. First we're going to connect the positive side of the battery to the positive side of, re of our resistor. Next we're going to co connect our resistor to our positive side of our capacitor of interest. And then we're going to complete the circuit by connecting the negative side of the capacitor to the negative side of the power supply. We also are going to put a switch in parallel with the capacitor. I'll use these blue banana cables to connect that. And finally, we're going to measure the voltage um, across the resistor and the capacitor. So let's take the red one, which is in port one, and put the red on that side, the black on that side, and the white one, the white one for the capacitor, and the red on that side, and the black on that side. Okay. Now let, let's take some data. Holding the button down, oh, let's start anew. Okay, let me hold the button down. Okay, now I'm going to let it go, and I'm going to watch our voltage change over 100 seconds. And I'll fast forward through this. So let's stop here and save our data yeah. and uh, uh, import it with origin so that we can do our data processing.